Good morning everyone. So I did a massive meal prep yesterday. As a uni student, I am so freaking busy during the day and this this girl right here, this this human being, gets hangry. And when I get hangry, I snack because for the safety of others within the vicinity, Jax's blood sugar needs to be up on like high. And also because I'm away from my home country, whatevs, nobody wants to be sick at uni, no one wants to miss out on work, I've got to physically be strong and have enough energy to teach my yoga classes, do my own workouts, create meal plans for clients. I'm just like literally doing seven things parallel side by side, so I need that constant, not just physical energy, but also the mental energy that you get. Otherwise. I can't be having no slumps in class. Like, I can't afford for this noggin to decide to switch off and be like, yo peeps, I'm checking out today because I don't have enough B12 to stay focused. By the way, nutritional yeast, more B12 than eggs and same in almonds. And it's all absorbed by your body. I'm excited for you guys to see the meals that I prepped. I will be doing another video going over exactly the makeup of the meals, like the nutritional makeup of them. Like I've got the recipes, everything in here, but um, I make sure especially that I hit like essential vitamins to keep me going throughout the day, throughout the week. And especially when it's like three days worth of meal prep and all you're doing is grabbing snacks on the go. Like my idea of snacks is nuts and fruit and nut mix because do you even live if you do not have fruit and nut mix? What is the meaning to life if you don't, like if you don't have some sort of almond and caffeine addiction, which I have both. Like I buy a packet of almonds and I'm like, okay, this will last me the week. No, this human being does not portion control. I think I was born without that capacity, without that ability, they're like, she shall not be able to portion control herself. She shall eat the bag of almonds. There's a little voice inside my head that tells me to do that. So every time the bag disappears and my family are like, who ate all the almonds? I'm like, the voice has told me to. No, I'm not actually that crazy. I just do it because I like it. So, um, <laughs> I lose my train of thought. I get so excited. I get on these rants. I squirrel, like my mind just like, Scrolls from side to side, if that makes any sense. Don't worry, I don't talk during the meal prep videos. And then also I've been adding a lot of turmeric into my cooking because a lot of people have been getting sick lately and I'm like, uh-uh. Because the only thing worse than a hangry Jax is a sick Jax. I am the worst patient on the face of the planet. So I added in a lot of antioxidants, lots of anti-inflammatories in my food, and as you guys know, I try and stick to as natural, non-processed as I can, because if the earth made it, we should consume it. If a factory made it, Maybe just like it's mainly for the machines. Like I'm like, look, I don't want to eat something that was made in a factory because that means we weren't supposed to eat it. If we were supposed to eat it, it would be able to grow in the ground. You know what I mean? No. I'm gonna force myself to stop speaking, or I'm just gonna go on and on and on. So I really hope you enjoyed the video, and let's get to it.
So I'm going to let these sit in the fridge for about an hour or so just while I'm meal prepping all my other stuff and then when they're set I'll show you how you assemble them. I'm such a dick. I had recorded the intro but I had forgotten to press record. Who does that? So I took my overnight oats and my chia seed pudding out of the fridge and I'm showing you how you can assemble it like quickly on a busy morning. simmer for a bit let it brown I usually cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes on a low heat just while I'm going to show you how I marinate my cheesy tofu just like a, a normal bag I usually like to wash these and reuse them because I'm all about that no waste dish life hashtag save the environment peeps many of my other videos then you know that I freaking love my tamari. Yeah. I don't need a man. Oh, I use them guns. Woo. Don't do this at home folks. I know everyone will cringe right now. There we go. So peeps, the secret to meal prepping like this, when you're literally trying to do everything within an hour, is to tidy up as you go. I used to be that lazy person, but now that I've moved into my own place with a roommate, I'm like, I have limited amount of dishes and resources. And that actually, when I had to start cleaning up after myself, I was like, holy crap, this is so much more efficient. I have so much less cleaning up to do afterwards. Tip of the day. Tip of the day. It smells so good. Oh my god, I'm hungry. Do you know what? When you're hungry and you're cooking, just to stop yourself snacking on everything. He's got to have some water. Now you can leave that tofu to marinate in overnight or like a few hours, but ain't nobody got time for that today. So as soon as the water's cooked out of this, I'm going to separate these into two jars and then I'm going to sort that loveliness out.
final one is just to show you that, you know, you can meal prep things and then just throw it together on the day. Like, it doesn't have to be ready like the cheesy tofu. This salad is like one of my favorite fall inspired salads. So I just cooked the pumpkin before and then everything else is pretty much fresh. And I had obviously grated a lot of carrots, but this is like a high protein, high fat, high everything, soy free, protein powder free, everything. This is just a good for you fall inspired salad that will keep you full. It's not gonna blow you. And I'll just let you see while I assemble it right over here. of easily meal prepped meals to keep the hanger monkeys at bay and I really hope you enjoyed this if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this let me know if there are specific types of meal prep like preps or meal plans that you want to see and this week later on I will be hosting a dinner party for my friends and it's gonna be a bit of like a tapas night and non-vegans so I'm gonna try and get them to enjoy the vegan food and show you guys and show them that it can be hearty. Vegan isn't salad. In fact, you give me a salad, I'm like, bitch, what you trying to do to me? Ain't nobody got time for no salads. This girl does not live on lettuce. Let us sit and eat. So I hope you like this video. Jackson's gonna stop talking now. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.